Hey everybody, I'm Jeffrey Lunnan. And I'm Monica Hickey. And this is Volume Up by The Tees. All right, so you probably noticed that this episode is a little bit different, um, not like the others. Kelly, our wonderful co-host, is on vacation, uh, and so we're not going to make a record. What we are going to do is have one of our producers, whom you've met before, jump in, tag team this with me. Um, Monica, welcome to the podcast. You've heard from her from time to time, re some games that we've done, but you've really not gotten to know her. And so we're going to play a little game here, which is our quick takes. Uh, Monica. How's it going? Oh, it's good. I'm very excited to be on this side of the microphone this time around. <laughs> Normally, I'm just like typing away. I mean, like, I think this joke is funny. Will they say it? So we'll see. This is the test. This we'll is the test, indeed. Yep. Um, we are thrilled to have you here. So thanks for joining. Let's get cracking. First question of our quick takes. What is a quote that you love? This is very ironic since we're on a podcast, which is mm. about sharing opinions and thoughts in our voice. But uh, I really love the quote, the world is changed by your example, not by your opinion, uh, which again, we're now sharing opinions on the podcast. <laughs> we, we are doing that. Um, but I would like to say that like we are doing, there's something that happens like the alchemy of a podcast, right? Like it becomes kind of an action. Right. That's fair. That's fair. No, it, I know, that's it, tough. it that's is tough. an action. But it's, it's a beautiful tough, quote. But... It's a beautiful yeah. quote. Like we'll, we'll, we'll allow it. Uh, okay. What is the cringiest trend that you have tried? Now I know one and I will probably talk about it if you don't, um, oh, no. but, but let's see what you've got. <laughs> I mean, I've tried a lot of the cringy trends. You really have. You've been such an adventurous. <laughs> I'm terrified of what you th- what you're going to say. <laughs> well, it's not really I cringy. Would... It's a trend. I will. I, I will get. You jumped on a trend when I I first met you that shocked me. Knowing you now, but I will. We'll, we'll, there's some history here, okay, so we'll, I mean, we'll let you go first, and then I'll we'll let talk you share about. that one. Okay. Okay. Fine. 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 So when I first met Monica years and years ago, she had done an undercut you had shaved part of your head and and knowing you now I truly cannot imagine that you would I mean like you're such a good sport there's another story there that we won't get into as to to why this happened but but yeah it was like a big old flank of hair just and I can't even imagine you returning to that and again I'm not saying that it's cringy it was a trend this was everywhere a number of years ago yeah that's I don't fair. think that Ke- that's the one. I like what's what's happening now for the for the the record. Oh, thank you, thank you. You know, Kelly. Uh, Kelly always says like literally once a week that that was her favorite hairstyle that I've ever had, and that she's favorite? just going to cut it in my sleep. Yeah, every like oh literally once God. a week. Um, but no, that was it was cringy once it started to grow out. Let's that's, be clear. And, I, and again, I I don't I will not say that it was cringy. It was a trend <laughs> that you jumped on. The the grow out, as everyone knows, who's had one of those, that's that's where it's the toughest. Where rubber to do it right, you really have to cut the rest of the hair, right? And Uh I just wasn't. I didn't have. We're not willing to have the kahunas to do it. No, no, no. Uh, That's a good one. That's a good one. I said, I said, and this is probably more cringy, but I really, (laughs) especially like growing, like living in the Midwest, I love a good at home fake tan, and I've had some real streaky ones, like where you know you're just like. It's Friday night, you gotta, gotta go get out it with in. the girls, yep. and yep. all of a sudden you just realize you only got half your arm, you know, like no big deal. It's kind of like a no contour. It makes yeah. you look a little bit skinnier in the photos. So and these things happen. Um, I feel like we've <laughs> all we've all been there. I've certainly been known to experiment with an at-home tanner that's gone awry. Um, so that's relatable, relatable content. We love that mm-hmm. on quick take. Okay, shampoo bars, yes or no. Okay, so to full disclosure, I have not tried, but I up, I'm okay. up for anything that's more sustainable. Um, I recently was at like a family event and there were like 20 kids under the age of five. And mm-hmm. for some reason, I was the only adult playing with them and no one had taught them how to recycle. So we spent like three hours where I basically created games where the like the results or the the prize was a juice box, but they weren't allowed to have the juice box unless they like stood by the recycling bin and <laughs> threw it in afterwards. So disposed of it properly. We love that. In that, I think you know shampoo bars. Let's do it if it's better for the environment. Cool. Yeah, I really need to get on that and do it. I'm, I'm I've been slow well. to take it up, but yeah, I bet it suds well. You know, like yeah, I'm, I, bar soap. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's been around for a minute. It's not like this is the the first generation of these items. Um, so I am gonna need a purple shampoo bar soap, though. Like, I can't need still need the toning yes, capabilities. So, yep. 
So if that doesn't exist yet, that might be where we go next um, here on the tease. Okay, um, totally shifting gears. What animal are you most like? Okay, so I probably could have said this for my most recent Google, but I did not have a good answer to this. So I mean, who I does? This quiz. is why it's like, quick take, what's <laughs> happening? Because I don't think that I would come up with a good animal at all, but quickly, definitely not. So anyway, what is it? So I took a quiz. It, it's mm-hmm. the eagle, according to the quiz. But here's the best part. <clears throat> the eagle in me wants to soar, but there's also a hip- hippopotamus in me that wants to wallow in the mud. <laughs> so the article said in the response wow. to my answers. Um, that and outdoor jobs are coveted for the eagles more, uh, for instance, like construction work, um, park rangers or piloting in the friendly skies. Uh, they don't work well in offices and they become unsettled and perform poorly unless they're challenged. So I was like, Ooh, I'm not really sure, but I'm going to be, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit and be a construction worker. New plans. (laughs) That is something that we definitely do not want for you at all. Um, but, you know, if that is what ignites your eagle fancy, you know, <laughs> we, we also support that here on this podcast. Follow your passions. Um, I do think that the hippopotamus thing is really fun. Um, I do not associate you at all with being a hippopotamus for the record. Uh, okay, before we get into the rest, we've got one last question. And that is, what is one product that you, Monica, in this moment cannot live without? This is because I have a steady diet of like six podcasts a a day is kind of what I listen to. And so I basically invested in everything that all my podcasts have ever advertised. Uh, So we should probably get to advertising on this one too. But Mm -hmm. I love my quip. I love that it vibrates. I love that it makes it easy. I love that when I go to the dentist, they think I'm flossing. Uh, So it's pretty great. I love it. Oh, that guilt trip is so real. Like, are you, Mm -hmm. you know that I'm not, are you asking? I should get a quip to avoid this very situation. Literally, like I was like, hey, yeah, no, that hurts. And she's like, you need to floss more. And I was like, but what if that doesn't didn't? (laughs) And she was like, well, give me an electric toothbrush. And I was like, oh, I know just the one. Thank you to my podcast. So that was pretty great. I've gifted them to everybody in my family. I've gifted them to my partner. Everybody has a quip. So thoughtful. All right. Well, thank you for taking these quick takes, Monica. I feel like we all now know you a little bit better. Um, We know you, um, but now our listeners do. So great. (laughs) Welcome. Let's get into the podcast, shall we? Yeah, absolutely. Um, On our last episode, Kelly talked with Ian Murphy. Ian is the president of Bosley MD and is a seasoned global beauty business executive with over 30 years of experience. In roles ranging from sales to marketing to international business development, Murphy is a trailblazer within the category and has represented beauty conglomerates such as Redken, Wella, Garnier, and Bioionic. He's currently at Bosley MD, the Thinning Hair Authority. If you like learning more about the industry, those who are enacting change and creating a better world, make sure to subscribe, write, and review five stars only, please. And follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok at Read the Tease and send in questions to volume up at thetease.com. I really didn't consider for a moment that our listeners would do us that dirty and give us a one-star review. Um, I mean, it's just... better. Yeah, no, 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 no. I think you really nailed it. Please, five stars only. We should probably update this messaging. <laughs> All right, look. Uh, woo. And on this week, we've got a special interview. Kelly, before she went on vacation, talked with Jeff Garner. Romantic visual artist, pioneer, and unconventional designer, Jeff Garner and his sustainable label, Prophetic, are on a path of transformation, leading the evolution of fashion and changing our perception of luxury. Mr. Garner was named one of the top 40 artists in the U.S., and his works were placed permanently into the Smithsonian's Renwick Gallery for the 40 Under 40 exhibition. Incredible. Garner's vivacity and his commitment to creating distinctive, sustainable, eco-friendly fashion is a reflection of his environment. His ultimate vision to bring awareness to the toxins found in commercial synthetic fashion and the health implications to the human body to allow everyone choice. Prophetic is established in the U.S. and is fast becoming the label synonymous with fashion-led ethical design in the United Kingdom with widespread praise from mainstream fashion media. Kelly talked with Jeff about his journey, Prophetic, and the importance of sustainable fashion. Buckle up. You're not going to want to miss that. Well, before we get started, I have the rant for today. And Mm -hmm. I am very excited about this because Jeffrey and I in pre-production both committed to trying this trend. And so the Zoe report came out with an article about the fall 2020 beauty trends, the fall 2022 beauty trends. We do not care about 2020 anymore. 
And one of them, <laughs> I mean, some of them were fine, like whatever, like natural hair color, fine. But Shock. the bleached brow, I am super, 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 super excited for. I'm a brunette, like really, really, really dark brunette normally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now I have blonde hair. Mm-hmm. What I'm very excited about is getting a bleached brow. Do tell Jeffrey, would you do it? So absolutely, without hesitation in a second. Um, it doesn't really seem to me like this is a trend exactly. I mean, maybe it's been a thing that they can sort of project for fall, but like I feel like every so often we have a bleach brow moment. It always looks good. It always delivers. It's super weird in the best way. Um, and I've committed, so I'm going to do it. Um, we will have some video content at some point oh, yeah. with me and a bleached brow. I've got bleached hair. We might wait for that not to be a thing. And then we mm-hmm. bleach them, but we're going to do something. Um, I'm all on board. I feel like it changes the face shape in a really yeah. cool way. Like you look a little bit like an alien, right. but not in a bad way, to be clear. Like, no. I, I just think it's it's dope as hell. Everybody should do it. And I'm going to. I think damn it. with your beard too, it's going to be like really striking, right? So I think that would be cool. But I think we can all do it. We'll convince Kelly to do it, and then we can create a TikTok of all three of us dyeing our hair blonde. Yeah, I, I feel like she would blonde. rather kill us than bleach off a brow. Um, <laughs> but you know, a lot what? of work. We've said it. We've said we've, it on the podcast. We've it's going to be published, mm-hmm. so she can't go back, right? Like this is it. That's that's one way of thinking about it. Um, well, if you guys are into the bleach brow trend as much as we are, let us know about it. Please get in touch. Um, if you go ahead and make the plunge and bleach off those brows, why don't you go ahead and tag us um, and we'll share it. We want everybody to embrace this trend. Um, I'm saying that. I'm putting it out there. Let's do it. Safely, though. To be clear, safely. Don't do oh, it. Yeah. Don't do it yourself. If you are not a pro and you don't know how to work your way around the bleach developer, go and consult with someone um, and then tag us in those happy results. Pros only with bleaching or lightning, as we say, right? Mm -hmm, So, (laughs) all right, let's talk about what's trending on the tees.com. Our editorial team, which is your team, has been hard at work this week in covering industry news, looking into trends and diving into brands that you don't know, but should. And so I have a few favorite headlines from the tees.com this week. And the first one is thanks to Barbie core, pink hair is majorly trending for summer, which is almost over, but you know, summer. <laughs> so, I mean, we talk a lot about grabbing that pink color and making it happen. I mean, the the photos from the Barbie movie are just sensational. So super excited Can't for that trend them. for Halloween, right? But my <laughs> question to you, Jeff, is it's been well documented in this episode and others that you change mm-hmm. your hair. Mm-hmm. Will we get a pink mullet from Jeffrey coming soon? It's interesting that you said mullet because I was revisiting some pics. Um, my wife is printing out some stuff for her new office. We were looking at like some Disneyland and I had a like the perfect baby mullet at that point. So I'm thinking of returning to that. Will it be bleached and pink? I don't know. But would I before that go pink? Probably. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this blue here quickly. I would not be upset about pink. Um, Barbie pink. Barbie pink is oh, a yeah. little intense. No, do it. But I do like this trend. Barbie core, I'm into, even though Vogue says that we shouldn't be into cores um, anymore. I don't know how I... But I, I just feel like this is the moment. Like summer, but also like 2022 is weird as hell. Like let's all embrace it. So I'm, I might. How about this? I will bleach a brow. I okay. might go pink i love it pink for sure barbie pink is where it's like a little bit is that too, too far for, for me or me. but here's the thing it's gonna it's gonna fade that's what we know about those fade. bright it vibrant will. colors is... right so it's only gonna be barbie <laughs> pink for like two days for, yeah for like a minute and i could probably right. handle that um yeah. all of that is to say tbd but but open to it tech avail i'm tech avail on this well, Barbie core isn't the only color trend this summer. Um, we have another article that's about the three hair color trends to look out for this summer, according to colorist Carly Zanoni. So summer's heating up, as we talked about before. It might be time to switch things up. So especially with days getting longer and warmer, there's a lot going on um, sort of outside in the world. And so there's a lot of trends that she's pulled through. And I personally feel really, 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 really guilty for discussing this article <laughs> instead of Kelly, to be honest. And I know the reason this is, speaks to her. 
there is no other human I know who loves a va va boom 90s blowout more than one Kelly Ellers. And that's one of the biggest, the biggest trends that we covered. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to tell the rest of them because we want them, we want you to all go and check it out on the TikTok.com. Exactly. But letting you know that when you see the va va boom 90s hair, you can just imagine Kelly's face like brightening up like none other. Truly. 90s supermodel hair there's nothing better honestly like i'm so glad that this is a trend and yeah we'll have to have kelly talk about it at a later date because we all know that she's striving for that and achieving it on most days so absolutely. kudos to kelly but yeah Pro go to the tease read that story come on absolutely sorry so sorry i didn't have a question that was just a comment jeffrey I'm yeah no no I, I, <laughs> as, <here. laughs> but, as it should be there is nothing to, to ask yep exactly <laughs> Okay, and the last one that I wanted to cover is Fenty Hair is coming, and here's what we know about it. So, obviously, Riri, Rihanna, she's got a lot going on. The newest one is Fenty Hair. Um, so, she came out with a um, an LLC or a trademark for hair that was clips, barrettes, scrunchies, rigs, wigs, curlers, brushes, combs, hair extensions, uh, alongside a bunch of other things like styling, straightening, relaxing, and waving products. So, mm-hmm. what I would like to know, Jeffrey, is are you here for Fenty Hair or what are your thoughts? Uh, this is a tough one because I think Kelly and I have long established that celebrity <laughs> beauty brands are a joke. But there are a few people that she. are an exception to the rule. Um, and she is one of, I mean, like we have established Fenty Beauty changed the beauty game for literally everyone. Fenty Skin, also incredible. I mean, the Amazon partnership with Savage Fenty. And all, like, I just feel like there's nothing she can't do. So I feel like she's going to do hair very, very well. Um, and there's a million other people in this space that are importing subpar products and packaging them. So I feel like if there's ever going to be a disruptor who can sort of re, I don't know, like legitimize it, it's going to mm. be her. So I'm like fully yeah. here for it. I feel like she can okay. do literally no wrong. Um, I will be shocked if it's bad. If this rollout oh, is, yeah. is subpar or if the product is not good, you would really like, I just can't expect, I can't believe that that would be with like right. the team, the investment. She doesn't do shit poorly. She's not so, white labeling things and just no, like bringing them yep. in and putting her product on yep. it. Absolutely yep. not. Yep. So, so I'm with you on this, like cool world domination, Rihanna for president. <laughs> like, let's do it. You know, I would allow her to be our sort of universe empress. Um, <laughs> he could do whatever she wants. <laughs> More I'd, than like, sign up. Yeah, no, president's not enough. She could do whatever the hell she wants. We're, when we're our yeah. aliens with our bleached, uh, our bleached mm-hmm. brows, Rihanna is our leader. So. Empress <laughs> Rihanna. <Perfect>. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, as always, there is so much going on at the D's. I don't know how you all have time to get it all done, but thank you to our hardworking editors. We're so proud to publish the stories that the salon pros and consumers care about. And next up, Kelly's conversation with Jeff Garner. Well, that was such an interesting interview. So glad that we got to listen to it and we got to talk to Jeff. I mean, I this our trend for our uh, whole podcast today seems to be sustainability, but Mm -hmm. the moss buttons, really, that's that's what got me, to be honest. That's a game changer. Um, The talk of foraging for stuff, I mean, like, why not? These materials and resources are available to us. Like, we don't have to go fully synthetic or opt for things that damage the environment. So, I don't know. I just feel like this I'm now thinking about things a little bit differently. So, we love that for a podcast. Great to hear a new perspective. I love Mm -hmm. it. Well, everyone, every, if you loved it, if you loved me, if you want me to come back, make sure <laughs> that you tweet at us, make sure that you message us, but for sure, for sure, be sure to subscribe, rate and review and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok at Read the Tees and send questions to volume up at the tees.com. Volume Up is a Tease Media production. This episode was produced by Monica Hickey, who guest hosted, and Madeline Hickey. Brian Daly is our editor and audio engineer. Thank you to our creative team for putting together the graphics for this episode. I'm gonna...